We're going to be palpating extensor digitorum longus, another one of the muscles from the anterior compartment of the leg. This muscle is going to be originating really high up here with tibialis anterior and fibularis longus. And I'm actually going to be using the other two muscles to try and get in the middle. So the first thing I'm going to do is ask my partner here to do dorsiflexion and inversion. Good. Giving me a little bit of an outline of where this tibialis anterior is. Great. And now I'm going to ask her to do plantar flexion. So push down and then out to the side a little bit and that's gonna fire off fibularis longus right here on that lateral fibula and then relax. So I'm actually looking for the space in between tibialis anterior here and fibularis longus, which is in here. And now I'm gonna ask for them to try and do a tricky motion. So a lot of people will struggle with this, but what you're gonna ask them to try and do is to extend their toes without doing much dorsiflexion because extensor digitorum longus is extending the digits, you're gonna see if you can feel any muscle activation in this anterior compartment while they do that. If you do not, what we're gonna do is add a little bit of a help. So I'm gonna add some dorsiflexion in the ankle. I'm gonna hold it up a little bit. I'm gonna hold on to the big toe and again, ask them to do that repetitive extension of their toes. Now you can see the tendon popping up there and I can underneath in my fingers feel the muscle belly sticking up a little bit. We're gonna add to it, add the next action of the muscle and it's gonna do dorsiflexion and some eversion. So if you ask them to do a little eversion and extension of those toes, you're gonna to start to feel a little bit more and you can see that tendon popping up nice and high for us. So the origin is very proximal on the lateral tibial condyle, as well as deep on the interosseous membrane, this proximal part of the leg, and then on the anterior fibula. Some references will include the head of the fibula, some will not. It basically just means it skips the head and starts on this anterior shaft. So the belly is quite long up in this part of the leg here. And then similar to tibialis anterior, as we approach kind of more past that halfway point, it is gonna turn tendinous. So I'm gonna go back to resisting extension of the toes and you can easily see this tendon sticking up right through this area. So you're gonna follow that tendon down. It's held down by a retinaculum in this area. And once we get past this extensor retinaculum, you're gonna see the tendons are starting to split apart into four. So what I'm gonna do is just change the position of the camera and on the foot, and I'm gonna resist toe number two, and I'm gonna to try to follow that out. So as I have extension of that second toe, I'm gonna to follow it all the way out towards that second digit, great, where it's going to attach to both the middle and distal phalanx of this toe via that dorsal digital expansion. Now we're gonna repeat the same process for each of the toes. So that's completing for toe number three. I'm gonna do that on toe number four. You're seeing a little bit more obvious tendon on this one as it goes into again that middle and distal and finally one for the fifth. And you can easily see that. I can just trace all along that one, okay? So inserting into toes two through five, the middle and distal phalanx via the dorsal digital expansion. Just going through the actions of this muscle, it's going to be extending toes two to five at all of the joints. So metatarsal, phalangeal, proximal, and distal phalangeal joint. So extending all the toes, it is going to be doing dorsiflexion of the ankle, and finally it's going to be doing some eversion of the subtalar joint. So if they're able to go through that full motion for you, sometimes you'll be able to follow the muscle all the way along the belly. But again, as I said earlier, the belly at the proximal end is gonna be a little bit tricky because it's often covered, but you will get a better presentation on the dorsum of the foot into the toes. That's gonna complete our palpation of this muscle.